welcome to the complete animation of Mum from the animated series Bluey. So this show clearly skews more towards a much younger demographic. And most of the time, shows like that have zero interest at all for me. You know, like shows like, I don't know, Little Einsteins. But this one, like, the first thing that attracted me to it was its art style. And then when I actually went and watched it, it was like, wow. Yeah, the stories that they're telling are, you know, geared to be acceptable for, you know, preschool age kids. Like, very young children. But at the same time, the writing is actually good. Like, the the things that it... the the things that are happening in the few episodes I've seen are actually, you know, appealing. And one of the things that I like the most about it is that it is all about, like, a regular family. And the parents are a couple of weirdos. It's like, you know, they're, they're not people who take themselves super duper seriously and... You know, like, they're they're willing to be silly with their kids. It's, like, actually pretty awesome. And another thing that, like, I had no idea about until I saw it is... This is sort of a... Th this is made by an Australian studio, and it's made about people in Australia. Like, these are all Australian characters. And... I don't know what it is, but I kind of like Australia. It's like, you know, off-brand British. And one of the neat things is, like, they actually have, like, real Australians being voice actors. And so it's like, there are some Australians who have the, you know, super over-the-top stereotypical, ah, good I might sort of accent. But most people in Australia don't actually talk like that and this show does a pretty good job of capturing like what actual Australian accents are like and yeah I I don't yeah I don't know this show is kind of it really bucks the trend because I really am not interested in those like super you know early development children's programming for the most part like um paw patrol i gave paw patrol a try yeah no good and i think that another thing that really just th the thing that made me originally want to even give this show a try was its art style this art style is very unique it's it's clearly very modern and it ha it deals a lot with like rounded shapes and whatever but it's not Cal Arts. This is not the Cal Arts art style, and I'm so thankful for that. I am so over that art style. It's this show, along with shows like 101 Dalmatian Street, they're they're showing what can happen with, you know, digital art styles that aren't Cal Arts. And like it's actually really appealing. And then the thing that really got me was how well it's animated you know animation and art style are separate you can have the most awful art style ever and animate it well and then you can have like a really good art style and then just make it move terribly and this show actually like you can tell that they, the people who work on it actually care about the animation and one of the first things you can see about that is the lip sync because these characters, their mouths actually move to what they're saying. And they do it really well. It's like, yes, this animation is limited in some ways. But in other ways, it's actually done really well. So, yeah, I think... I think Bluey... Like, if I'm ever going to have kids, Bluey is a show that I wouldn't mind them watching. Because I'd probably end up watching some of it with them. Thanks for watching.